Why did I decide to go up against a professional interior designer? Taking a pause from kitchen renos to do something a little different. Now, I have had this collab lined up for a long time. If you guys don't know Miko, you'll you need to see her. She is an incredible creative force. And if you're coming here from Miko's channel, welcome. My name is Letitia. I do home DIY and currently I am renovating my kitchen. Have been renovating it since June. We decided to do a decor swap. So I have from her a painting, a tray table of sorts, a round mirror, and a box of branches. <sighs> Let's get started. I've found the ultimate pool noodle alternative and it's called pipe insulation. It comes in multiple sizes and is split down the middle with adhesive so that you can wrap into, around, or outside of things. I was inspired by these mirrors online and made a half sausage casing on one side, then attached an open piece of fabric to the end. I spent the rest of my evening hand sewing the open piece into the half of the tube and you'll see why in a sec. The adhesive is just not strong enough for the tension I'll be applying because I'm encasing the edge of the mirror into the noodle. The idea is to glue down the mirror edge first with the strongest glue I have and all the clamps I could find in the house and Gorilla Tape. This glue cures and hardens but it's actually quite easy to scrape off. I just cut very lightly with a cutter and scrape it off with a blade and no scratches ended up on the mirror. After it's cured for 24 hours, I flip it, then stretch the excess fabric taut and tape it down with the Gorilla Tape. Home Renos have definitely upped my adhesive game. Well, okay. So the mirror is supposed to hang the other way. You can see that the Umbra logo is upside down. The idea is to have the noodle snake around the mirror and then coil around the bottom. I would like it to fall down, but the noodle was too stiff and it pretty much worked out okay. I'm going to say this is the single hardest item Miko sent me in my DIY supplies. Funny story, the items we bought for each other came from different stores, so packages were arriving separately. When I got this box of driftwood addressed to me, I was so confused. I almost threw it out until it hit me that it was from Miko. We had no idea what we'd chosen for each other and part of me wishes I did toss this out because these branches are so far out of my head. I tried many ways to work them in with this canvas which had great built-in texture but as you can see I sort of lost my mind a little. <laughs> Instead I decided to build a frame out of the sticks layering the twisty and the straight with the thick and the thin. As a personal touch, I tried weaving some lavender yarn through. The driftwood becomes part of the art piece and I imagine this being appreciated in somebody's ultra minimal home or something more beach themed, you know, driftwood. Carrying the yarn detail all the way through could have also been a look. This one was Definitely super tough, but a great challenge for my brain. This woven tray table would be perfectly happy in someone else's home, but I do love to ruin a good thing. And if you've seen my eyebrows, I'm going through a hot pink phase right now. It's currently five degrees in Toronto right now, and it's the warmest the week has been. So now I can take my stuff out to spray paint, but I'm sure it's a lot nicer where Miko is. So I'm a little jealous. So I spray painted the legs in hardware. I tried fluorescent spray paint, but unfortunately the kind I purchased has a transparent finish and I couldn't get the coverage that I wanted. So I went for the next hottest pink I could find. Much better, even after one coat. Don't forget the little screws as well. I had a plastic manufacturer cut two pieces of pill-shaped pink acrylic. Wow, say that fast five times. Just because I really wanted a perfect symmetry and it'd be really hard to achieve that by hand. It costed over $100. 
but I had huge expectations for this table. In retrospect, I think splashing up for the thicker acrylic would have made this even better. I think this is just one of those pieces that feel very true to my insides. As I'm getting more into home and DIY, I feel like I'm figuring out my style and this is just one of those that it feels very me. If you're on your way out, be sure to check out Miko's video and see the decor items that I sent to her. I have full faith in her. And if you like this collab, you wanted to see more of us, let us know in the comments and subscribe to our channels. You can find me on social at Letitia Q. See you guys.